Oh, hello guys. Good morning. I'm drinking a little iced latte, oat milk latte. Okay, first of all, I need to say hi to a lot of my new subscribers. One, my subscribers started taking off in general. It They started taking off, it hit a lull, which I expected it to when I took my road trip, and then it started taking off again. And then yesterday, I got a hundred, over 100 subscribers within 24 hours, thanks to wonderfully Allie for mentioning me in her last video, which was the sweetest thing. She was talking about her Stojo cup, and that was the most gracious thing of her to do to, and if you're watching, hi Allie, to mention me in the description box. So a lot of you mentioned that you came over from her, and I just wanna say hi and welcome to my channel. I am so happy to have you here. It's so funny because I actually was just thinking the other day, I made a point not to watch flight attendant vlogs when I started my own vlog because I didn't want to be too heavily influenced by how other girls or guys did their vlogs and I didn't want to make mine just like theirs I wanted to make sure that it was my own thing I think I've, I've made enough videos now and I've kind of gathered my own style at this point where I am comfortable in my my flow and how I like to do things uh, or how I like to film my vlogs. So now I would like to start branching out and watching other flight attendant vlogs just because it's fun and it's almost like a little community. So I'm gonna start checking out Wonderfully Allie's vlogs. Thank you guys. And also, if you have any other flight attendants that you love, or honestly, like travel vlogs in general is just what I genuinely love. But um, <clears throat> yeah, for those of you who recommend anyone, please let me know down below. One thing I need to say, my name is Vera. I I just really don't introduce myself in my videos and I, I until the end a lot of the time. And sometimes I forget altogether. I forget that my name isn't in the channel, <clears throat> isn't in the title of this channel. So my name is Vera, V-E-R-A, Vera. So today I have three flights that I'm working. I don't work until three. So yeah, I have like four hours-ish, like maybe three now to get ready. I don't have like food or anything packed. I'm like running behind. But I just do a Nantucket turn out of Boston first. So I'm based out of Boston Logan. So one little Nantucket turn. I am really hoping that that's how this goes because it is disgusting outside right now. It is pouring rain. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to do this all day and I'm working on a smaller aircraft. I'm working on the Embraer 190. We'll see what happens with that. And then after the Nantucket turn, I just go from Boston to Miami. I haven't done a Miami vlog in a few weeks and you guys know that's probably my favorite layover right now. I just love being in Miami and we're at a new hotel, one that I haven't stayed at anyway yet in Coconut Grove, which I love Coconut Grove in Miami. It's just such a nice area. It's like a hidden gem for people who don't really know much about Miami, Coconut Grove is such a nice area. I just hope that that is where I end up tonight because I'm really looking forward to this layover. I'm excited to work on the E190 because I have my own galley on that plane. It boards quick, it deplanes quick. I feel like if you're on time, you usually get in early on those planes. It's just, everything runs easier to me, in my opinion, on those planes. Starting speaking. All right. <clears throat> listening to a podcast while I get ready, as I always do. I'm gonna show you guys what I packed with me. I'm drinking a matcha. I successfully completed my a week and a half, two weeks of only matcha. And then I had my coffee today, my first coffee, which was really good. Okay, really quickly, what I'm bringing with me today, this is just my lemon water and my matcha, but I have a grape flavored Olipop grilled salmon, or not grilled, uh, I put it in the oven. There you go with that Cuban seasoning that I'm obsessed with from Trader Joe's all over it. A lemon, I'm really packing light today. The lemon is for tomorrow morning. A bulletproof bar, and then in here, broccoli with ghee and salt and pepper. I already had a fairly big breakfast. I had a few eggs and some turkey bacon. I have like 15 minutes to kill before I need to get out of the door. I'm not wearing, so the only makeup I'm wearing right now is brow gel. My eyebrows need to be shaped so bad. I haven't had them done in over two months. <laughs> Whatever. I'm also wearing a little bit of blush, mascara, and some eyeshadow, but I'm not wearing like a foundation or face makeup at all because I just, I don't know, I was in the mood not to today and I'm not going to. I guess that's really my only reason. Your skin sucks everything in on the plane. I just want, I have like a really nice oil on my face right now. The Indie Lean Squal Squalene, Squalene, Squalene oil, which I've been using for almost two weeks now and I'm absolutely obsessed with it absolutely obsessed with it i use it every single day 
and my skin has been glowing when I wake up in the morning. I'll leave a link for it down below. It is my new favorite product. Anyway, I'm gonna drink my matcha, chill for a minute, and then I have to go. down one to go I want to sit between flights we just have our Miami flight left morning I'm wearing my little red outfit again the girl I'm working with she's at the coffee shop already I woke up so late I woke up at like 9 40 but I guess I needed it because I slept all the way through until that point my room is like a cave in here I'm gonna put my hair in a little bun like so Whoop. put on my little bucket hat because that is what I want to wear today so I'm just gonna go meet her for coffee, but yeah. Interesting view, it's just construction. You can actually, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but you can kinda see the water over there in these beautiful apartment buildings. I wonder how much these apartments are. <sighs> Self-tanner done, the only spot I messed up is my hand right here. I don't know if you can tell, but everything else looks pretty tan and did I mess up my arm too? It's just cause the light hits it in like weird ways, but I gotta go, she's sitting at the coffee shop waiting. Well, that would help. market I haven't been inside of a fresh market in a while um, and this one was super nice when I was a teenager I loved fresh market fresh market was like my whole foods before I discovered whole foods but let me show you guys I got a lot of stuff I wasn't expecting to get this much stuff and yes I usually bring my own bag I don't like to use the plastic bags but what I end up doing is reusing the plastic bags to um, carry my shoes in when my old ones like rip or get too dirty. So this one has a little bit of my breakfast for tomorrow. I, I saw a bunch of products that I had never seen, well not a bunch, a few products that I hadn't seen before and I wanted to try. But for breakfast tomorrow I have pomegranate seeds, I have watermelon sticks, oh I got this little ginger shot for in the morning. It's just ginger, lemon, and cayenne shot. I got a coconut water for right now, and I got a coconut water for tonight because I am going to have a couple drinks around dinner time tonight at this cute little dive bar we found. It's like a dive-ish bar. And so I wanna have coconut water to come back to. And then I'm really excited that, I must have been spilling my drink, how is? Oh no, it's condensation. This coffee slingshot, I'm gonna try this in the morning. It looks super cute. It's coffee soda. 150 milligrams of caffeine per can. I won't be drinking all of each of them. You guys, I'm, I had too much caffeine today. I'm literally shaking. It's not great. But anyway, okay. She gave me too many bags. I wasn't paying attention. Muscadine grapes. Muscadine grapes are so good. They're pretty big in the South. Um, especially Georgia. My grandmother used to love them, so I really like muscadine grapes. Muscadine grapes and um, Concord grapes. They're in season in like late summer, early fall time frame. Super good. They're great snacking grapes. Because, well, all grapes are good snacking grapes because there's seeds in them, so you gotta kind of be careful when you eat them, but I got the Catalina Crunch Keto cereal. They were super cheap at, the, well, I remember at Whole Foods they used to be like they were really expensive. I think they were like $13, something crazy when I used to buy them. They're $7 now, which is pricey for cereal, but it's fancy cereal. It's keto cereal. So for me, it's worth it. And I don't eat that kind of stuff a lot anyway. I needed, a, I needed some protein or something for breakfast tomorrow. 
So I got, I never eat oatmeal, but I got this Bob's Red Mill organic oatmeal with flax seeds and chia seeds, and I'm gonna put my pomegranate seeds in here. So that'll be really good for tomorrow morning. And then I just got these little ginger chews to keep in my bag for when I want something, I don't know, to chew on, something sweet and gingery. And then the last thing I got is my favorite water that I've told you guys I really, really love. So that's that. I need to put this stuff in the fridge. I'm gonna call my mother. Let this be a reminder to call your mom, guys. Um, talk to her for a minute, and then I think I'm gonna go for a walk. It's hot outside, but it's nice because we're on the water and you get a really decent breathe. Breathe. Breeze. I'm really bummed. I didn't see any of the, these uh, layovers for next month, These ho this hotel. This layover is amazing. Coconut Grove is such a cute town. I like to say Coconut Grove is what Malibu is to LA, Coconut Grove is to Miami. Um, it's just such a nice little, it's like an old school Florida kind of bougie town with good cafes and restaurants and it's nice to walk around. Oh my God, I can't believe I almost forgot. Okay, I don't know if any of you got any, those of you who are from the South or who have visited the South, I mean, some people might know what cheer wine is. Some, some of you guys definitely don't know what cheer wine is. I am not a soda drinker unless it's like a special occasion. I'm in like Mexico and I want a Mexican Coke or I'm in the South, even though I don't really consider Miami like the South, you know, not the South that I'm from, South Carolina. But if I'm in like the low country, I get a cheer wine, especially if it's in a glass bottle. Cheer wine is like a southern staple. It's so good. It was my favorite soda growing up. I absolutely love cheer wine. It's like a cherry drink, a cherry soda. Um, and I saw them in the fresh market and the girl I'm working with, she had never had one. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna buy one for both of us. So she tried it, she really liked it. I'm gonna stick this in the fridge. I really don't want the whole thing, but it's so good. I would pay big bucks for a vintage cheer wine sign. The second I took a sip of it, it's like memories fled back, just feeling like a kid again. Mm, it's such a nostalgic taste for me. Just showered. I'm gonna chow down on sweet green. I got mixed greens, spinach, blackened chicken, onion, cabbage, tomatoes, goat cheese, sesame or the sunflower seeds, and I don't even spicy cashew dressing. I don't know. Sounds good. I'm. Just, it, I like got starving out of the blue. I'm so disappointed because I was really looking forward to visiting the botanical garden, and it was closed but we got to visit this house and I already forgot the name of the people who own it. The oldest house in Dade County, one of the oldest homes in Florida. So that was cool to be able to walk around that and read up on a little bit of history, but I can't even talk anymore. I'm so hungry, so food time. All right, ready to go. Whenever I wear self tanner on my face, it makes that spot on my forehead show up so much more. It's been very complicated trying to get an appointment to get it checked out, but I'm still trying. So that's that. Like people, they can't see me for like weeks out. But anyway, very basic outfit. Richer or Poor, I think is the name of the brand of this t-shirt. Regular Levi's, like long shorts. Checkered Vans, and then pretty basic makeup. Lighting is not great in here. And that's it. I'm ready to go. The sweet green salad was actually super good. Maybe I'll get into sweet green again, I don't know.
back in the hotel room, all cozied up. AC is blasting. Oh, guys, I don't even want to say. I have to wake up at 4.40 tomorrow. Not looking forward to that. But. Another thing I want to say, mm, I guess my skin doesn't look so good right now. It looks a little, I don't know, blotchy. Oh, that spot bothers me so much. But this is the oil that I've been using on my skin. I cannot get over how much I freaking love it. Oh, I just, it's the squalene, squalene, hydrate and renew. I'll leave a link for it, but I, I'm going to run out of it quick because I, I end up putting it all over my like neck and my chest all over my face i'm using it like day and night i love it so much this stuff it just makes my skin feel so dewy and glowy when i wake up and throughout the day it feels really good on my skin when i'm working and it feels really good on my skin like all day today even in florida my skin didn't feel heavy oily or gross it just felt dewy and refreshed and like plump yeah, I highly recommend it. Anyway, I'm gonna finish watching some YouTube videos and hopefully I'm able to just wind down and pass out for at least a little bit. Got three flights tomorrow. I had such a good layover. My ice cream was amazing. I love, whenever I go to Salt and Straw, I really like to get the honey lavender. Oh, it was so good. Of course, it was melting all over the place. We are in Florida. And thankfully, I got to spend it with my coworker, Lauren. She's really cool. It was our first time working together. We had fun though today. We were both talking about how we usually slam click and we don't hang out with the crew. For those of you who aren't in the industry, slam clicking is when you just you slam and click your door shut. You just don't hang out with the crew. So, <laughs> anyway, all right, guys, I'm gonna go to bed. I did not sleep at all last night, like at all. I ate that ice cream. I really just can't have sugar close to bed because that ice cream kept me up all night. Literally, I had like this anxiety feeling in my stomach. I kept moving around and I'm just so tired and I have to get up super early tomorrow too because I have another trip tomorrow morning with like a 6 a.m. Sh uh, show time at the airport. So I just have to like get so much done when I get home tonight. Try to do my best to get to bed early. I'm gonna try to not have too much caffeine today. I, I had way too much caffeine yesterday. That's the other thing. Way more than I normally do. And I am tempted to get one of those Cuban coffees in the airport. <laughs> oh, Vera. All right, I gotta run out the door. Sit. Well, we're actually like down to an hour now. I am so tired. It's taking everything inside of me to stay awake. The cappuccino with the Cuban coffee helped. But those those sodas, those like coffee sodas are not good. I do not recommend. Do not get those. All right. My crankiness from being tired has subsided and I'm now editing the video. I have to go to bed in like an hour and a half-ish, only to wake up at 4.30 again tomorrow. Whatever, it's a part of the job. Editing the video, this was a fun little chill layover that I had. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, my name is Vera, for those of you who are new here. You can follow me on Instagram, at Balanced Flyer. I post on here twice a week, Sundays and Wednesdays. I do my best to keep that consistent. Go ahead and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Say hello, please, in the comments. And give this video a like if you enjoyed it. It really supports my channel. I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.